Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Four of Pentacles energy. So here's something um, I'm seeing is somebody is about to come towards you, but they're not going to be telling you everything that they need to say, okay? Or they're not going to be telling you the whole truth, or they really don't, maybe they don't have much to offer you, and they're, they're, um, they're not wanting to share anything with you. They're coming towards you as a page. Um... I, I already don't like this energy, I gotta say. Yeah, they're coming towards a star, wanting this new beginning, right? Maybe wanting to ask you out on a date, but this person, um, here's the thing. This is one of those people where if you go out on a date with this person, they're going to make you buy, okay? Or they're going to make you drive, or you're going to have to do, like, everything because they're, they're really... Um, holding back a lot they don't want to share anything okay and they may not if this person is coming back around from your past they're not going to want to tell you um what they've been doing in separation they're coming at you as a page energy okay collective and you're in this beautiful star energy um earth angel energy too you know i don't usually see the angel wings with the star so i feel like um you're a light worker a divine feminine you know very loving very nurturing very caring very knowledgeable spiritual intuitive you could be in the public eye this could be somebody who watches you from afar yeah Death and transformation is coming out. I'm getting the sense, too, that they're coming. They could come any time now because there's, there's like, um, no leaves on these branches, right? I feel like during this winter, uh, maybe around the holiday season, okay? Ten of Swords energy. Ace of Swords energy. I feel like, you know what, you're going to be demanding the truth from this person when they come forward. And I feel like they are coming, okay? Uh, but you're, uh, you're going to be like, either tell me the truth or it's, uh, you're never going to get another chance at, with, this, with me again. I'm not dealing with any pages. I'm not dealing with any, um, anything that's hidden. No secrets, no nothing. You, you have to give me the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, or you're done, right? Because I feel like also you don't want um, you don't want anybody to be backstabbing you, betraying you. I'm getting the sense that this person's hiding a lot. You know, if you look at this, I don't even know what thing this is. It's like a half frog, half pig, or part frog, part pig, part turtle. <laughs> but they're hiding something underneath this shell that they don't want to tell you, okay? They don't want you to know something. Um, I Maybe they've done a lot. I feel like they may have done a lot behind your back. Maybe they have other options. Maybe they don't have any money and they don't want you to know this. There's things that this person does not want you to know. So there's, they're, right now they're strategically planning what they're going to say because they're protecting all of this. Look at this. They're protecting all of this. Okay? There could be um, one, two, three, four, five, seven things that they don't want you to know about. It could be other people that they were entertaining. It could be money issues. It could be, I don't know if they have addictions or something like that, but they're not going to be coming in with the truth. I feel like you're about to get these messages, but you're going to have to use your intuition here. You are definitely a divine feminine, I feel, this earth angel energy. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be um, an Aquarius, maybe. Two of Cups. Yeah, they want this back. But I feel like everyone now is reaching for that cup, okay? 
everyone wants an, a chance with you for whoever this is for. You could be, you could have your own platform. You could actually be a star. You could have a lot of fame and popularity for someone, okay? You could very well be in the spotlight. Um, you could be a public speaker. You could have your own platform or public podium somewhere, you know? Or, I mean, you don't have to be a star, right? You, you can, uh, you're just glowing with whatever it is that you're doing, okay? You could have three forms of income at this time as well. But yeah, this, this, everybody wants a chance with you. That's what I'm saying. Everybody does. But I feel like you're kind of untouchable. You're very, um, mysterious, right? You're, you're an enigma collective. <laughs> you are like, how are they going to catch this unicorn, right? How are you glowing? How are you doing what you're doing? How are you this intuitive? Um, you know, I feel like people are seeing you kind of in awe here, including this person from your past. And they definitely are hiding some things here. I'm telling you, they are not coming in with the full truth. Okay? They want to paint a pretty picture for you. That's it. But, um, yeah, this there, and with the Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like this person, um, number one, I'm seeing them traveling towards you. I'm also seeing them getting stuck. Um, in their life, okay? They may have a lot of financial burdens. This person may even be homeless. They are trying to paint you a pretty picture, though, okay? That's what this person is hoping for. If they can just, like, pull the wool over your eyes or create some kind of illusion, right, when they come forward, um, you may, they may be able to, you know, keep secrets from you. I don't know. I, that's what I feel like this is. This is this is what they're thinking of doing. It their their communication is going to be very tricky, okay? Because you're dealing with somebody who's actually really smart. Um, King of Swords energy. This is this is somebody quick on their toes when it comes to thinking strategically, and they're literally planning here. Planning. This is with the Three of Pentacles. This person is planning what they're going to say. You know, because if they slip up, you may find out about something they don't want you to know. You know, this person's coming in tricky, sneaky. I already, I don't trust them. Okay. Um, they may be leaving behind another soulmate connection as well. Or maybe they, maybe they haven't yet. And they don't want you to know that, you know. Feel like maybe this this person could have even gotten like evicted from a home. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Now they want to put the work in with you. I feel like they've been watching you intensely from like a a fake profile or um, from somewhere in your neighborhood. They could they could be like sitting in a car watching you from afar. Okay. Nine of Cups energy. They see you as being very abundant. Um, you've got all of these options and new opportunities just flowing to you right now. Um, I'm just looking at all of this glitter as very abundant. When this card came out, I saw you standing here, and it instantly gave me Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. You're their wish fulfillment, okay? You're a powerful manifester. You're very um, intuitive as well, okay? I'm also getting the sense that this person is trying to create some illusions for you. I, I'm picking that up here, even in the Nine of Cups. Or maybe they have before. Maybe this person's really good at manipulating. They put a lot of thought into, their, uh, pl into planning their communication, right? You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. But yeah, you've got, um, I feel like you're very abundant because I'm seeing all this gold coming off of you, okay? 
So um, I feel like you're very abundant, independent, um, and you're getting wishes fulfilled here. Justice. The scales are balancing out for you. And I feel like the universe is protecting you as well, protecting whatever you've created here. I feel like the universe is, is like protect whatever you've created because this person, it feels like to me like they're an opportunist, an opportunist that's coming in to take advantage of all that you've worked for. Okay, I'm heavy picking up Empress in the Minor Arcana. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Libra, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius. But this person is a manipulator. They're, they're coming in not telling you the whole truth about everything. They don't want you to know that they could be in financial burdens right now. And they're bringing those burdens to you for you to take care of for them. And it's, you know what, they're going to be very tricky, very manipulative, they're getting ready to talk, okay? You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they're getting ready to talk to an empress, but look at deep down inside, this person is jealous of you. The deep down inside, they're envious of all that you've got. What did I tell you about new opportunities and, and um, um, new options coming towards you right the empress that's all you do is attract things to you right now you could be very in tune with nature you could be noticing it's getting windier and windier you, you're noticing um possibly some odd things happening with the animals as well feel like um there's big changes coming up in the world you guys so pay close attention to things that are happening in nature. You could be a Taurus and Aries. But this person's angry. They're upset. They're upset because you're doing better than them. And they don't know how to be tricky enough to fool you into allowing them back in. Like for real. Because they've done a lot. They know you're going to have questions. They know you're intuitive. They know they're not going to, I mean, I feel like you're 10 steps ahead of this person and they know it. I, I feel like this person is really upset and they want what you have. They want what you have. Yeah, because here, with the, I, I feel like um, I'm just getting the sense that this person, they may be alone. They may need help. They may need financial help. I feel like maybe uh, for someone, their, their, maybe their bank accounts have been frozen. They're bringing these burdens to you, okay? They're looking at your abundance. Yeah, see, I feel like um, they want to pretend to be stable, but they're really not. They're really in this page energy. They want to pretend to be, like, they want to somehow make you think that they're the king of pentacles, but they're not. They're the, they're the king of swords, who's doing a lot of, um, they want to find the right words that are going to convince you that, um, that they've got their act together. They, they want to somehow um, show you that they're very abundant and financially stable when they're not. Okay, how are they going to do this? They're very upset. They're upset with you because you actually are abundant and stable, okay? Use your intuition with this person because I feel like they're a snake. Honestly, I feel like they're an opportunist. Spirit may be showing you some things too. This is a lot of spiritual knowledge coming to you. You know? I feel like this person's going to show you something or spirit's going to show you something here about this person to let you know that you can't trust this opportunist. You know, you can't trust them. And they know this. I, I'm looking at this person. I don't trust them. I know they're keeping secrets from you or they want to. Chains. That's all this is, is chains. This is a wolf. 
in sheep's clothing. I feel like they've got a lot of burdens and I feel like spirit is wanting to hold them back from having this new beginning. They're going to start chasing after you here. They want this new beginning, but look at how they're looking at you. This is a wolf. Do not deal with this person. I feel like spirit spirit doesn't want you around this person. They they know that they're coming towards you with lies. Okay? Nine of Swords energy. You could be having some dreams about this person. Um, maybe spirits giving you some nightmares or it's either your energy or theirs. Somebody's having a hard time sleeping over this, but I feel like it's because of all of the messages. Look at all of this lightning and electricity around you. I'm also seeing a town going into some kind of blackout, okay? There's some kind of power outage that's about to happen or that has already happened. I know one day, you guys, just to put it out there, one day for no reason at all, we not only lost the internet, but we lost all the data on our phone. So um, it was really kind of a weird feeling. This may be going on in other places in the world as well. Just, on, just as a side note, okay? Two of Pentacles, yeah. This person, I'm telling you, they got nothing. This is this masculine is broke, and they're seeing all of your abundance, and they want to come back around. This is an opportunist, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, look, they want wish fulfillment. They know that you can provide them with um, with a very easy, wonderful, beautiful life. You know, the t the ten of cups. That's the kind of life everybody dreams of having. Okay. That's wishes being fulfilled. There's a lot of money in this picture, too. Look at all the money here. Okay, this is somebody making a wish for you in a wishing well as well. Yeah, but I don't like this energy. I feel like they're a snake, and I feel like spirit's going to show you somehow. Okay, but they're coming in. Spirit's also going to tell you, look. Here's the thing, you've got some new things coming in. You've got a you've got a new love offer, Knight of Cups coming towards you. Okay? This is forward movement here as well. Okay? Um so you've got a brand new love, a blessing and a new beginning here in your future. I feel like spirit wants to wants you to move forward and yep, and close out this cycle and be happy. And stay away from this other masculine. Okay, they're under judgment. Yeah, you're about to get the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and this masculine knows it. They know it, collective. And they want what you're getting. They want your blessings. Okay, they're coming in tricky. They're coming in with secrets and lies. This person is planning, and I feel like they're rehearsing what they're going to say to you. To, you know, to try to get it right so that you'll let them back in the door. I feel like here they come. Okay? And right now, you're in this Empress energy where you don't need anybody in the energy that you're in. And you're attracting all this new stuff to you. Queen of Cups, look, you're very loving Nine of Pentacles, that's that Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. Okay, very loving, very like magical. You feel magical here. You're manifesting. You've got this beautiful, magical mermaid energy. You could be getting some downloads right now about past lives. Okay, just so you know. I'm, I'm picking up on that pretty heavy as well. But yeah, what uh, you're independent, you're financially stable and abundant, you're being spiritually led and spoken to here by this owl, right? Given all of this hidden knowledge, um, extremely intuitive, feel like you've been in isolation, okay? You, you feel that somebody is about to approach you, like you can feel this. 
You know, maybe you're kind of feeling like on the lookout right now because you know that this masculine is about to approach. They're all up in your energy, okay? And they're going to come in with this magician energy, I'm telling you, wanting, um, wanting a victory with you. But this is, it just feels like such an act, you guys. It feels so fake. It feels so fake, and I can clearly see, you know, um, that they're they're going to be hiding things that they don't want to give anything to you in the in the four of pentacles energy. This person doesn't want to share. They don't want to give to you. They want to take from you and live off of um, the the efforts that you've made. Okay. You know it too. You know they're about to approach. You could be a Virgo. Okay, and you've got your boundaries up. You could be a Leo. Like, I, yeah, I feel like you're going to you're going to protect everything that you've created here. You're picking up the vibes that this person's coming in. the wants they know they need to fight for this yeah this the fool <laughs> i saw this as an excl exclamation point the fool look yeah i feel like if you say no when you i feel like it's going to be a when when you say no to this person they're going to pop off they're going to instantly start a fight it's going to go from being very loving, promising you the world, promising they're going to put the work in, right? Telling you everything that you want to hear, okay? Um, but then when you say no, because spirit's going to give you some kind of red flag, this person, I'm telling you, all they, all they do is start an, enor an enormous fight, and it happens really quick, okay? They turn from loving to cold and... Um, vindictive really fast so yeah they're gonna show their ch and you're gonna see them as the magician i'm telling you a shapeshifter they're gonna completely change right in front of you okay they're gonna show their true colors all you have to do is say no I'm telling you i i do not like this person's energy i gotta say i don't like it um, let's get some advice for you. Just be aware you are about to get this communication, but man, um, you're going to bust this person. You are, they're going to, they're going to show you their angry, nasty side all over again. This person hasn't changed. You know, I feel like, um, yeah, look, they're trying to figure out a way to make you believe that they've changed. Um, you know? But it's, yeah, spirit's going to give you some kind of sign that they, they still have a lot of work to do, collective. You can feel these vibes. You can feel this person approaching you. Look at all the vibrations here and above your head. I feel like you're asking spirit, listen, when they approach me, just give me some kind of sign of what I should do. Please, God. Please be there for me during this talk. Um, let me know what I should do, right? I feel like you're already, and my ear just started ringing, you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep, it's almost time. You can feel it. It's time for this person to close out a cycle, and here they come to your door. You, you can feel it. Oh, collective. But here's the thing. I feel like you want something new. I feel like you want to break free from this, okay? The stagnancy is going to be over. You're going to be able to make a decision between what you want, your past or someone new in the future, okay? And I feel like this is a closing to a cycle, you guys. Especially with a 10 and a 5, that's death and transformation, and I feel like, um, yeah, something is closing here, but you've got all of these new things coming in for you. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, new love, a new soulmate connection. 
but this communication is going to be so bogus. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a big act, and you're going to see it when they get angry after you say no, okay? Um, but it, it's about to happen, and this communication, this person coming back in with an eight, coming to your door to talk in person, I feel like... Um, this is your closure. It's going to end up closing out the cycle. This is a completion. This will bring everything to a completion so that you can reach for your new life and start your new cycle and receive all of these blessings that are, that are, they're coming in. They're coming in for you. Okay. Um, the, the, uh, nine and 10 of pentacles, the 10 of cups, new love, it's all coming. All you have to do is get your closure now. And that's what this is going to turn into. Okay?